Hey guys, Josh here from Momenta Productions and today we are going to be talking about tripod mode. How and why would we use tripod mode? So tripod mode extremely limits the movement of your Mavic Pro. It only limits it to a certain speed, a very, very slow speed. And tripod mode is an excellent way to do real estate videos, especially if you're shooting indoors. Also, it's great to use for roof inspections, and I'll show you exactly how this is done. So to switch to tripod mode, make sure that your Mavic Pro is already in the air, otherwise you won't be able to switch flight modes. So once you're in the air, tap on the remote controller icon located on the bottom left-hand corner of your screen. Then tap on tripod mode. Now in tripod mode, you can see how limited the Mavic Pro is when it comes to speed. That's actually a good thing. This allows us to get very accurate shots in tight spaces, especially. I've actually used this mode on quite a few shoots, allowing me to capture some of those smooth dolly or sliding shots in the air. I've also used it to inspect tiles on my roof and to do some indoor shooting. You can notice that the Mavic Pro is completely stable, very smooth pans, very smooth increase in altitude. That's something I extremely like when it comes down to tripod mode. It allows you to focus more on the framing and less on the flight. And if you're a beginner, tripod mode is an excellent way to start flying with your Mavic. That way, if you throttle up or throttle down, the Mavic Pro won't behave erratically. And that's something I feel like a lot of beginning pilots need because we all know what happens when we throttle up or throttle down, we start to panic and then we probably will have an unfortunate accident. And don't worry, in tripod mode, obstacle avoidance is still enabled. Only in sport mode will your obstacle avoidance be disabled. If you want to learn how to properly control your camera's gimbal, I strongly suggest checking out this video here. That's how I achieve those smooth pans and those smooth tilts with the gimbal. That video plus this video will get you a great amount of information, especially when it comes down to learning how to control your gimbal and how to properly fly your Mavic without any of those erratic or bizarre movements. We all know that as cinematographers, those kinds of shots are no good. Try to keep your shots as smooth as possible. That's what makes drone footage cinematic and a joy to watch. Give it a try and let me know how it goes for you. If you like this video, please give it a like, share it with your friends, and check out my website at www.capturethemomentum.com. Over there, I have a newsletter where I give away free cinematography and photography tips. Also, if you're a company and you would like me to create review or tutorial videos on your products, you can email me at info at capturethemomentum.com. Also, don't forget to show me some examples of your work in the comment section below. I would love to see what you guys are making. I'll see you up in the air. Bye-bye.